championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Oh, in this week's STEAM series, our focus is science and art. All right, two things that I was never good at. <laughs> exactly. Our very own Danielle Gersh joins us live from her home <laughs> to tell us about an urban beekeeper this morning, Danny. DeMarco Jasmine, this is pretty amazing. You're about to meet a woman who makes her living raising creatures that turn pollen into honey. On a high rise rooftop towering over Wilshire Boulevard near Westwood Village, something unexpected. A wooden box harboring a natural phenomenon. Its purpose? to reconnect people with nature and cities. Meet Carmen Atwater. I am an urban beekeeper. Carmen spends half her time raising honeybees in Topanga for delivery to rooftops at schools and businesses throughout Southern California. So I'll go put the beehive on the roof of a building and manage that hive all year long, doing regular inspections, taking care of the bees, making sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, being healthy and safe, and then at the end of the season, we harvest honey. But long before the honey harvest, a bee colony needs to gather nectar and grow. Every hive has one queen, a lot of worker bees, and then some male bees that are called drones that are essentially their only job is to inseminate the queen at the beginning of her life. The queen's job lay up to a thousand eggs a day. And she's the mother of every single bee in that colony, so it's really a tough job for her. By the time it's full, a colony can have 50,000 bees. Secreting the wax from their bodies, they work together to build the comb. Once the comb is complete, they use those spaces to store their resources. Of all the STEAM disciplines, urban beekeeping relies most on science and art. My background is in biology. I am using science every single day, but I also really view beekeeping as an art because it's very intuitive. You have to be not only scientific about the methods that you're using to make sure that a colony is set up for survival, but you really have to connect with the bees in a way and kind of listen and respond to what they're telling you in a way that you can't do from a purely scientific point of view. Bee stings, though rare, are an occupational hazard. And the academic work to get where she is has been demanding. Carmen's advice to aspiring urban beekeepers, don't let the difficulty hold you back. Everything worth doing comes with challenges and it's worth it. It's worth the challenge. Feeling that sense of accomplishment is really amazing. She's brave, no suit, nothing. So if all goes as planned, each of those rooftop hives will produce 30 pounds of honey each. For more on STEAM careers, go to cbsla.com slash STEAM. DeMarco and Jasmine. It just oh, makes you appreciate that. then that next jar of honey you get. Yeah, 30 pounds it. of honey too? Right. It does, it does. She's a, right. she's a trooper there right. to be able to do what she's Amazing doing. Amazing woman. Pretty incredible. Yeah, good mm -hmm. story, Danny. Yeah, really awesome. All right. And so cool. It's yeah. just going on right on roofs uh, around right. the city. So you can't be afraid really of heights or bees at this point. So I know, I know. I don't think I, I don't think I'd make the cut, but that is amazing <laughs> right. what she's doing.